Hi, this is an instructional video on how to set up a inflatable awning. The items you will have is your main awning, step ladder, pegs, rubber hammer, clips for fitting onto the awning, foot pump, edging for along the bottom of the caravan, and you will have the main bag and eight tubes which have to be fitted into the awning once it is inflated. You have your main pump for uh, inflating the uh, awning. You take your connector here and you fit it on to the inflating side. Now with deinflating the uh, awning you need to unclip it and fit it onto the other side, like so. So to inflate a pipe, put it back onto the inflating side, taking your tube, make sure that the main valve is screwed in. and unscrew the main part for inflating. What you then need to take is your pump end. Make sure it is pushed in well. You can then inflate it, making sure that it goes up to three PSI i.e. into the green. It does not need to go into the red. So you need to It is now in the green. So you would stop pumping. Take disconnect the tube making sure that the top is screwed on tightly. As you can feel, the tube is now solid. If you do at any time when you've got the awning, need to put any more pressure in when it goes too flat, just unscrew and inflate a little bit more. With this, you take your end, on the caravan there is normally a slot. You need to thread that all the way through, like so. Then you have to go past the wheel and across the other side, like so. This will then stop any draft. And if you need to pull it to get it into the right place, you can move it either way. Now, to uh, get the awning onto the side of the caravan, you have to place it in this clip here and run it round the whole length of the caravan. To do this, you need to insert this white strip here. This will pull the rest of the awning round as you are doing it. The awning has been positioned as it would need to be to be installed on the caravan. You need to make sure that the awning guide ropes are on the outside of the awning facing away from the caravan. Now you are ready to uh, install the awning. You need to make sure that the bit that is overhanging is here. You will also feel that it is quite taut as there is a plastic um, tubing running the whole length. You need to uh, position the end in the, this junction and start to feed the awning like so. From time to time that the awning may start to snag or drag, you may need to go back to the start and uh, thread it through a bit more. Uh, I find this is easier to do if you are inside the awning than from trying to do it outside the awning. If you are having any difficulties reaching the runner 
when you're doing it. You may find that the steps we provide may be of assistance. On this awning, you have five main posts. They are positioned here, 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 and here. They will all be de-inflated and you need to inflate all five. To inflate each pole, you need to undo this flap. Inside, you will find the pole. When screwing in the valve, you will find it easier to undo the top cap, screw the valve in, like so. Taking your pump, make sure that your end is pushed in tightly into the aperture. Taking your pump, you need to start inflating. At certain times, you may need to make sure you pull the pole out whilst inflating. Take the PSI should be into either in the green, like so. You need to make sure you inflate all five poles to the same pressure. You need to then take your pump out and screw in the cap and put the flap down with the Velcro intact. Once you've finished inflating the poles, you need to make sure that these flaps are all clipped back down to keep the valve from getting dirty. Now you've finished inflating the awning, you need to fit in the eight pipes. There are four sets, as you can see from here. Uh, I will show you individually how to fit each one into the awning. Within the set of piping, you have two white tubes. These need to fit into this section here with the zip. How you do this is you push it in, like so. Finding the Velcro, you push it onto there, other end into the other side of the Velcro. You then take your zip, and you zip it up like that. You now have six tubes you need to install in the roof. I have three here for this side, and there are three for the other side of the awning. There are three different sizes. I will now show you where to put them. This long one you take, and you have two pieces of Velcro here and here. You take your pipe and Velcro it on like so. You then take the smaller one, coming to this section here, you take your pipe, you put it against the Velcro that side, push the awning away and clip it on to the other side. The final one you will see has a slight curve on it. This is This one has a slight curve on it. This normally fits into the window aperture here to give a slight curve on the window. 
This now means that this is now all secure. Right, at this point, you need to fit two poles here to hold the awning against the caravan. Now you have fi finished inflating the awning, you need to secure it to the ground. Taking one of these bars and a peg, you need to attach it to here, like so. Taking your peg, and your rubber hammer. You need to make sure you pull it out tight enough to hold on a slight angle and tap into the floor. You need to do this on each one of these hooks all the way around to make sure it's securely down. You have five guide ropes, which are these orange cabling. And doing it, take it out to a certain point. Take your peg and tap into the ground. If you are short on space, you can actually, using this toggle, is bring it in to make the guide rope shorter. And again, taking your peg, hammering it into the ground. Make sure you do this on all the guide ropes due to any high wind. Make sure the, this black sheet is within the awning. This is to stop any wind. It overlaps at this point. So you take your peg and put it through all three of the holes and then tap that in with your rubber hammer, going all the way around, making sure each one is tapped in. Within the, this awning, you have two doors, which you use a zip to open. You have blinds fitted here, here, and at the side here, which come out and cover up the panel and I use, use Velcro to hold them on. You also have your side doors, which are unzip all and also come with fly nets built in. You then up here have two air vents, which use Velcro to hold them down, which are accessed from the outside of the awning. What you will need to do is to manoeuvre the main supporting poles inwards to a point where this is sitting as so against the caravan. You may need to do this a few times to get it right. Once you've finished with your stay in the caravan, you need to dismantle the awning. Uh, First off, you need to remove all pegs and the pegs from the guide ropes. Uh, secondly, you need to remove all the tubing from inside the awning. Not forgetting to remove the two that are zipped in, like so. Once you've removed all eight, you can then go outside and start deflating the main poles. When you need to deflate the awning, take your pump, disconnect the hose from the inflate, turn it round, connect it up to the side that will take the air out of the pump. To deflate the main pole, lift the flap, unscrew the cap, take the end of your hose, make sure it's securely pump pushed in. The 
The other way you can do this is to remove the valve. If you do this very slowly, as it can make quite a noise when it, can, when it starts to lose air. I'm sucking it off slowly so that it does not fly out and hurts you. As you can see, this is now losing pressure. At this point, you can remove the valve completely. Right, next thing you need to do is to remove the awning off the caravan. So you get a, whole, a good grip, pulling it down, so that you then get the end coming out. You can then pull the awning completely out. Once you've got the awning off, uh, put it into the same position you had it before it was put on the caravan. This then makes it easier to flatten out and to pack back into the awning back. You will still have air left in the main tubes on the awning, even though most of it has been let out. So what you need to do is start folding the awning over, like so, and going across where the piping is applying slight pressure. You need to do this all the way down until all the air is out of the awning. Take your bag, put it underneath the awning. Once it's folded up, you need to work around to get the awning into the bag. This can take a few minutes. Uh, place the foot pump in the bag as well. Uh, also placing the bag of pegs in there as well. And that is now ready to go back in the caravan to be um, brought back with you.